Driven is powered by BH Petrol, the double performance fuel. This week on Driven, in our shootout special, Driven reviews the Alza and the Exora in a rather unconventional way. And we find out who comes out on top. It's happening right here on Driven. Well, I've got, I've to, be got to be honest. I am not a big fan of MPVs. I love MPVs. Although, back during the uni days, you thought the ones who drove big, flashy sports cars are the ones getting all the attention. You know, back in the uni days, you never would have expected to drive something like this ever. Well, surprisingly, the ones who were driving MPVs were the ones making a lot of friends. And you know why? <laughs> Free taxi ride, ma! Well, it's not surprising. Once you have a wife, you've got kids, those Bali Kampung trips, you definitely need the space. Comfort handling, fuel economy, power delivery. Whatever your reason may be looking for an MPV, we here at Driven have got the work cut out for us. That's right. In this special episode, we review two of the hottest ones on the market. Made by Malaysians, for Malaysians. And the Xora goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Perdua Alza with a twist. Oh, it's still a camera. The Premium Alza offers 104 horsepower, a 1.5-litre engine and an automatic transmission. With the 5 plus 1 seating arrangement, it markets itself as a car one moment, MPV the next. On the other hand, we have the Exora, packing 125 horses and a 1.6-litre engine. Now, since it's a larger 7-seater MPV, it weighs about 272 kilograms heavier. Well, they're filled up. Let's take them for a spin. I must say, among all the Pro Dua cars, the Alza has the best interior. It's very stylish, but yet practical. Although it feels a bit plasticky, but I can live with it. This Alza Premium Easy i comes with an automatic transmission. The driver's seat is extended to the left, it's huge, which is a good thing, and it offers a not too bad support with thick padding. It makes me feel like I'm driving while sitting on a big sofa. Now, the Alza handles pretty well for an MPV. It's not as nimble as Kalisa because it's bigger and higher cannot compare it with the Kalisa, definitely. But it is a very well-balanced car, I must say, and I'm very, very impressed with it. I like the way it absorbs all the bumps on the road. The softness is just about right. Perfect for mommy and the kids. Now let's talk about the engine. The Alza has 104 horsepower, which is just okay la. Power delivery, a bit laggy. It's not something I would take out to impress my friends with. But then again, you must remember, this is a compact MPV for the masses. As long as it's adequate, it's good enough for me. We are currently in an MPV. 
This is the Protonex Zora Highline. My first time ever driving this car and I must admit it's pretty comfortable. Yep, I've been quite critical of Proto lately but nevertheless, it's not too bad, nice and roomy. And that's why they call it a full seven-seater MPV. Uh, Interior-wise, uh, you've got everything where you want it to be. It's nicely placed, except for the typical plastics which you get in most cars these days. Typical Malaysian roads, they're a little bit bumpy here and there. Every 200 meters, you probably get a pothole here and there. But this car soaks up the bumps pretty, pretty well. And it handles pretty all right too in the corners. Now, I'm going to take a roundabout here. Let's just see how this car performs and uh, let's see whether there's any body roll over here. Here we go. Just look at that. You get a bit of roll here and there, but nevertheless, this car takes it pretty well. Now, engine-wise, this car has 125 brake horsepower. For me, I think the low-end torque is a little bit sluggish and it's not really sure-footed. So I do wish they could improve on that. But again, if you're planning to be a family man, carrying your family around, you want some nice comfortable space, well, this might just be the car for you. Oh, there she is. So, how's the drive so far? Not too bad, not too bad. Well, Sharizan, you're the family man. What's the best way to test the merits of an MPV? Well, the thing is, we've always tested cars solo, but the point of having an MPV is so that we can fit our wife, our kids, our maid, our house, our kitchen sink, our girlfriends perhaps, into one and then go from point A to point B safely. Good. Mm. We shall do that then. Find out how when we come back right after this. After this? What? Excuse me, how come I'm not informed about this? Up next, we load up the two MPVs with some unusual cargo. 